it's time for add-ons with the onking. This video is going to discuss the pop-up dictionary, which is extremely robust and super helpful, but it is it's it's kind of difficult to install onto Anki. It's not like a typical add-on, so we'll be covering that. The pop-up dictionary is extremely useful when you're wanting to keep the big picture in mind. And I'm going to show you how this works. Here's a card that I'm doing, aldosterone. Now sometimes it's you're going through a card and you remember, hey, aldosterone causes reabsorption of sodium, but wait, what else does it do? Well, if I double click on aldosterone, it just brought up every card I have in my deck that has aldosterone in it. So useful. Now here's another trick. Say I want angiotensin 2. I don't want angiotensin. If I highlight both of those, and I can do this inside the previous pop-up. That's the coolest thing. Now I'm going to hit Command-Shift-D, and it's going to pull up another pop-up dictionary. And you can just keep going with this as much as you want. If I want ECF, I can do it again and again and again until I'm satisfied, then I click out of it. Voila. One of the most handy tools. Now I'm going to scroll over to the internet here, and I have created a document that has basically everything in our videos, but it's in text form. And if we scroll down to the add-on section, there is a link here to MedShamim. And this explains how to do the pop-up dictionary. Unfortunately, the pop-up dictionary is not easy to install. It's not an official add-on yet. But this has instructions here for Anki 2.0 or Anki 2.1, which you shouldn't be using anyway. But it explains how to do it. If you click here on official add-on page, it'll take you to the add-on page where you can download what you need for this. Now this is for Anki 2.0 and this is for Anki 2.1. And then once you have downloaded it, you just follow these instructions and it will get installed on Anki. A little more difficult, totally worth it. Thanks for learning with the On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.